predictions, there are always big surprises. Some things that come out of the blue, or they're fun to watch. We tend to use that word expert lightly because you never know, <laughs> despite collections of talent, who's going to work well together, who develops their chemistries, what injuries play a part in a particular season. Are there mid-season trades that sort of maybe change the chemistry and the makeup of a particular roster? So listen, predictions, take them with a grain of salt. You never know how an NBA season might play out. And that's why we love the regular season so much. Long, yes, but so many different twists and turns along the way. No doubt. And free throw good from Reddish. And the last two drafts, the Atlanta Hawks aggressively making trades to assemble this roster. And drafting DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish, great length and versatility on the wings. You pair that with Trey Young and John Collins, and that's an exciting young core for the Hawks. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Toronto choosing their team name back in 94. The fans helped them narrow it down, and with dinosaurs all over the silver screen, it helped tilt things towards the Raptors. And we all remember those early uniforms, those giant velociraptors across the front. Fortunately, they've toned it down a bit since then. There is such incredible awareness and feel for the game. Marcus Saul, such a good passer. Young taking his time here. And it's off from three-point range. About one minute into the first quarter. Powell finds Lowry. Shoots it. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Dishes it to Hunter. Back to Young. There's the triple. Toronto grabs the miss. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Now, here is Young. He's coming off a 16-point game against Detroit. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. The Raptors have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Lowry with the ball. And Young picks him up defensively. That one drops for him. Well, how about the presence in the post by Kyle Lowry in the face of some pretty good defense? That was a tough conversion. Young against Lowry. Gasol trying to free himself up. Shots good from Young. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And you know this, Greg. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And it goes down two points. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by two. Pass to Herter. Over Siakam. Herter, no good. Raptors have gone four or five from the field so far. Shoots the three. He can't get that one. And Atlanta will come the other way. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. A rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups. And the help will slow to rotate. I'll tell you this, Greg. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end. And clearly, they were not. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. The pass to Collins. Now Hunter, defended by Gasol. The Hawks again can't hit. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Powell with it. He's picked up by Collins. Powell, that's good. I'll tell you, I'd love to see someone take the contact head on. And Norman Powell welcoming the challenge. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Young's shot is off, and it's the Raptors' ball. They're on a 12-4 run. And Lowry gets it to go. Lowry's got eight. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. The last time these two clubs came together was also in this building with an unfortunate ending for the home team. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And, and you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. Yeah, some of their starters had to take an early seat on the bench, and that ruined the rhythm and flow they were trying to establish. Now let's take a second to bring up our rookie leaderboard for a glance at this year's top first-year free-throw shooters. DeAndre Hunter, third. And really, he needs to continue getting to the free-throw line as much as possible because he's pretty deadly once he gets there. Here's Collins. 20 points for him last game against Detroit. And don't forget about the two blocks. He really changed the game for his team on the defensive side. Now, here's Hunter. And Gasol sends it back. What defensive instincts. What timing by Marcus Gasol. Nice block. Hunter kicks to Young. Four on the shot clock. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. Now, here's Hunter. He's coming off a 19-point game against Detroit. Let's a floater go. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. And it seems like every team is in search of the, quote, power wing. The guys that have the quickness to defend on the perimeter and the strength to battle inside.